That is a wow! Look at those triple seven landing gear. Gear is coming down, ladies and gentlemen. Bridges. Okay. Bridges. Speed. We've got. Oh my God! Nobody. Last week I talked about airlines that have made flight simulators as advertising materials, mainly on the mobile platform. For example, there was this uh, Swiss LX flight simulator or United's interesting mobile flight simulator. But did you know that Japan Airlines made not one, not two, but three flight simulators back in the early 2000s? Yes, back when there was only a PlayStation Zero and a Game Boy Color and a PC in 2000, before 9-11, they came up with the first edition of the Jet De Go flight simulator. Two years later, they came up with Jet De Go 2 for the PlayStation 2. And then in 2005, they came out with Jet De Go Pocket Edition. And well, let me tell you, this flight simulator, which was released for Windows 95 and Windows XP, still works on modern Windows. You can buy it. The problem is, it's like, this is a PDF. This is like all in Japanese, isn't it? Uh, all right, should be good. Let's go ahead and save settings and uh, launch the game, which still works, of course. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Are you able to see this? Japan Airlines, everybody. Two airliner lovers and the others. Jet to go, Project Present. Oh. 747400 Sky Cruiser. No one ever. Who called it that? No one ever did. 767. That still flies today, but not for Japan Airlines. What an intro. Can you imagine? X Plane had this. MD11. I can barely tell by the pixelation. It's definitely insane. Alright, what is this? 737? Yeah, 737400 Flower Jet. Whoever the hell ever called that that. Look, we can see the flight director. This is the 777 right there. It's the. the I think it's funny, the Trevor 777 still looks like this in the cockpit. It's not really changed, although flight simming has definitely changed. Look at that. The intro is still going on. 747. Oh, a J Air. Never heard of that. Jet. Oh, Jet Stream. All right, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Hi, oh, yeah. 777. Enjoy your flight in the blue sky. That is literally the only Get English ready. words. Uh, oh, my God. The, that is extremely vibey. Now look at this, we have Sport English, Sport Japan. So let's maybe see, Flight Mode, Cruise Mode, Lesson, Option. Let's see what we got. Let's select Game Level Hard. Come on, perfect. So go into Flight Mode. Come on, let's see what that looks like. We can now, oh my god, the quality is just insane. We can now choose between the Jetstar. We can actually choose every plane. That is a, wow, look at those 777 landing gear right there. Amazing. 747, that is not necessarily a circle. Let's do the 747 then. Come on. Automatic? No. Manual. Oh my god, the screen is flickering like crazy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is this? Uh, we've got a departure. It's all Japan Airlines, of course, since they kind of made the game. And now we can choose our route. We can fly from Tokyo to... Don't know where? Uh, let's just do Tokyo. Oh wow, look at the seats falling. 568 people? That's a lot of people in the 747. Okay, why not? Let's do it. Oh. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, we're taxing. We're ta we're taxing. Uh Alright, let's concentrate. That is a 747. Definitely 747 400 or even 200. Nah, it looks like a 400. Okay. Welcome to the cockpit. Please stop annoying me, airplane. Okay, this is how we do throttle. Oh my god, we have a whole five frames per se. Oh my god. Even for the early 2000s, this is horrible. What's the problem? Reduce speed, help! Why would I do that? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to reduce speed! How do I reduce speed? Overrun, flight is over. What are you doing? All right, I finally figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. This is looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the graphics. Yes, give it a little bit of power. Oh my 
got. I mean, okay, this is 25 years old, this game. All right, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. You're okay. Shut up. All right. Oh. All right. Move, 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 move. the rudder. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my God. I'm so unable to steer this. Let's just take up. Like, of course, the graphics are absolute ass. But something we do have is like a decent head-up display. Come on, move. And we have poppy lights. They're quite boxy and big. Something that just doesn't work at all is the controls. They're just absolutely useless. Come on, you're doing okay. We are now on a runway. It's a little shaky, but as you can see, let's take off. And we just have to follow. What's the problem? What's the problem? Okay, take off, check. And something we have right here is sort of a flight director, which I think is really cool. Let's get into cockpit view. Damn, we're moving fast. I just don't know how to control the plane, though. Uh, help. Oh, how do I take off? Take off? Yes! 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 <laughs> Okay, okay, actually, you know what? This is not too crazy. Okay, perfect. We've taken off. How do I put up the landing gear? Like that? No. Yes! I've put out the I've put out the landing gear. The graphics are just it's so weird. What's over are we too fast? We're too fast? Course out! What's the problem? This thing is just, just trash. No, game over. I'm fine with that. But I would like to see how they improved, though. As you can see, this is a Jet 2. Not Jet 2 Holidays. They didn't exist that yet, because it was founded in 2007. Come on, let's go ahead and see what Jet 2 looks like. This one, actually, as you can see, has joystick support, which is very interesting. But something it also had was this, a proper yoke. Yes, just for the game, they made a Jet Go Yoke. It's absolutely insane. Initially, I wanted to buy it as $159, but I don't even have a PlayStation. By the way, have I mentioned to you that this game was not made available at all outside of Japan? This is just Japan only. I don't really know why. But yes, here we could select our jet to go controller, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look. Taito. This is now in a weird aspect ratio, but a more high quality air to airliner lovers and the others. High, more high quality picture. Jet get go to project presents. Oh yeah, this is always the best part, ladies and gentlemen, Star Jet. I think, you know what, this actually gives us a good idea of Japanese culture, to be honest. Alright, all right, let's skip the, let's skip the intro. Let's fly. Jet de go to. Let's do it. Calibration. Yes! Oh my god, I'm moving my joystick! Yeah, 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 it works, and that's really cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and start a new game. Let's see what that looks like. Pilot registration. Let's just do this. We can enter a name. I'm probably insulting someone's mother. Alright, Swiss is there one. Perfect. Uh, I think this might be my birthday or my age. I don't- is this like Japanese 8 calendar? I have no idea. Uh, okay. Yes. Flight logbook. Oh, we have like a little logbook kind of thing. Uh, alright. Let's do uh, total miles. You don't measure your logbook in miles. Anyway, we now have an English kind of English menu. We've got pilot mode. Let's go and use that. Uh, come on, just skip all those menus, dude. It took so many hours just to get into a flight. Alright. Training. Let's do a landing. Oh, this is bet way better graphics. Holy moly. What I don't like right here is the fact that the like the cat the, the it's like the plane is covering the text. Anyway, let's go ahead and try the 747 here. Let's do a professional mode, because I am a professional, I think. Oh, alright. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, anyway, all is fine. This is the engine controls. We've got control of the engines. Let's see what the... Oh, yeah. All right, this is the throttle. We've got rudder controls right here. Wow, these physics are extremely not realistic. Okay, the landing is right there, but how do I... How do I fly this? Turn left and right is done through the... Oh, yeah. The physics are probably the worst I've ever seen. Look at the plane turning right. Clear to land runway 17. Are we flying at 500 knots, by the way? <laughs> all right. All is fine. 1,000. Okay, we've got GPWS calls. Do we have a cockpit view in this thing? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm speed. Throttle. Throttle is an idle. Throttle is idle. Throttle is idle. Minimums. We've got minimums. Continue. 
Let's, t let's land it. Yes. Yes. Highly realistic. I don't know how we just kind of spawned down to 500 knots, but look, this actually has some sort of realistic, um, somehow physics. Oh no, let's not take off again. This plane, for some reason, has performance like crazy. Spoiler is, oh yeah, the, ah, the space bar. Okay, that's how you break the airplane. Not bad. All right, now we have to turn left, I think. All right, let's do that. No worries. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, and we've crashed. We have another plane, triple seven. We've got, is this another triple seven? Yeah, just two. The 200, the 300, the DC-10, 737-400, that's very interesting, 767. All right, I really would like the DC-10. Let's do that. Let's do professional. Okay, we can select an airport. That will show up. I don't know what that is. I think that's Fukushima Airport. That's actually way before Fukushima disaster happened. Let's do Haneda. That's Haneda. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is our flight route. Oh, actually, look, we've got some waypoints right here that will fly over. Very interesting. Okay, we can skip all that and just, uh... All right, welcome to... We've got 3D buildings here. Huh? Pushback approved from a one... Oh yeah, pushback! We're getting pushback! Uh, oh yes, everybody. What can we do here, I wonder? Japan Air, Request taxi. Taxi. What the hell is going on here? Help me! I think this might be the safety announcement playing. It is. You know what? In terms of what this game, you know, does in terms of experience, for 2002, it's absolutely insane. Oh, here's different views that we can explore. Oh my god, wait, look, we've got actually an instrument panel. What I don't quite understand is wh what is going on. Why can't we see anything outside of the window, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, Japan Airlines is... Let's go ahead and taxi. Um, so, given power. Yes, wonderful. Like that. No smoking. Smoking is good. All right, we're taxiing. And actually, that is showing here on our airspeed indicator. This is uh, highly impressive. Good. All right. Now, the taxi instruction works like this. We just have to follow the arrow. Why has it been showing no smoking for the past half hour? I don't care. Okay, let's do a control check. So... For some reason... Uh, right, so this does elevators. This is realistic. This does ailerons, which has pretty realistic animation. This might just be one of the best airline flight simulators ever made. One, six, right, clear for takeoff. Let's do it. So, let's say that. Let's go full power. Stop doing random announcements. I don't care. Let's go take off, ladies and gentlemen. Japan Airlines. Uh, DC-10 back in the day. Classic airliner. Let's do it. Retard. Yes. Realistic flight animation. How do I put the landing gear up? I have actually zero idea. <laughs> it's hilarious. Ah, oh, that's how we do it. Gear up. Okay, uh, now talk to Tower again, right? Oh, well, that's just departure. Japan Air, contact Tokyo Control. Contact Tokyo Control is not a big deal for me at all. So, this is, I know I hate the cockpit view because you can't see outside, which is, I'm, uh oh. Alright, I have no idea what's going on. We've kind of respawned, and we're going to come in for a landing. You know what? In terms of, like, its gameplay, I don't hate this at all for the time. Of course, it's, like, nothing realistic compared to today. But still, this is as an airline flight sim, and we know how bad that can be. It's pretty impressive. What I don't like, once again, is that the cockpit view is just completely broken. Like, it makes zero sense. Also, of course, the physics absolutely suck. Look at the effects of the space bar. It's like, this plane flies like a car. But look, we've got right here a... Uh, flight director with a quite realistic head-up display. Now, I'd like to know the values here. I think that is... I, I hope it's not not. <laughs> okay, let's reach the first checkpoint. It's hilarious because this game is from 2002 and there are still flight simulators that probably offer a worse flight simming experience than this. Like, can you imagine that? All right, so this looks like a VOR or something. We don't really... Like, the views kind of suck, though. We can't really just view around using our mouse. Also, I really have no idea of the use of this. Now, will this flight simulator teach you how to fly a plane? 
No. And that's kind of bad. Anyway, we're now at sort of some sort of landing mode in our DC-10. And actually, the scenery is sort of not the worst. Why are we dropping like a stone, though? Oh my god, stop crashing. We can see the airport over there. Looking good. Oh, gear down. Okay. No worries. I'll do that. Perfect. Gear is coming down, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know what we were saying. Okay, we've been cleared to land. So let's go ahead and... I don't know what the speeds were supposed to be at. The flaps can we put down using this button? Yeah, that brings down flaps. Good, good, good. It's just good, funny that this plane literally flies very toy plane -y. Look, we've got a runway down there. All right, this view is absolutely horrible because you can't see anything. We might as well just crash. Oh, I think we should be at 200 knots. Okay, time to make a left turn. All good. Look at that. The graphics aren't even that horrible. Okay, Japan Airlines, let's do it. It's just that this plane seems to be crashing. Like, I don't know. I don't really have no understanding of the physics. It has nothing to do with this plane in real life. All right, perfect. But we need a little bit of speed. We need a little bit of speed. So let's give it some speed. All good. I can see runway lights over there. Let's go ahead and use them. Okay, looking good. We're coming in for a landing. This is the front view, but it's like, th for some reason, it ha this one has no instruments added to it, which is very lethal. This one has instrument, but no view to the outside. I don't really get the point of of how they did this. Oh, yeah, let's reduce speed. How are we at 400 knots? What the hell? How are we at 400, 500? I really don't get this at all. But look, we've got poppy lights. All is looking well. Let's go ahead and land now. Reduce okay. Reduce speed. Land. We've got... Oh my god. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and break. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. Uh, for some reason, Aileron controls the nose teller, which makes zero sense. But look at this. We've landed. So I guess we got to go ahead straight. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, 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 no. All right, let's move out. Oh my god, we're extremely fast. Oh, how does planes stop so fast? I think we've done a flight. You know what? This thing would have probably been revolutionary in 2002. But obviously, it's not necessarily that much impressive anymore. You know what? I don't mind this at all. Look, we can look at moving. Uh, there's just one move. That's just the intro. Uh, what in the world? Okay. Well, it's like some sort of weird animation. It looks a little bit like a fever dream. Uh, okay. And this would have definitely been mind-blowing in 2002. Look at that. Look at those graphics. This makes me want to fly Japan Airlines. You know, airlines keep doing this interesting stuff. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.